And uh, some, very few people, they don't even sleep in the night time. In daytime they sleep, but not in the night time. So that's his unique religion, you know. So, and then of course, if, when you when you think about that, we all have a religion, okay? But spirituality now, also whatever the style that you really, uh, how do you say, you will involve in in our life. It needs the spirituality. Spirituality, what I meant to say by spirituality, is that the spiritual spirit, there should be an aim, you know. There should be an aim, you know, should be an aim, and also target out of what you are doing. Otherwise, you are doing this just for nothing. This is not right, actually, from, from a common sense from the common point of view, it is not right. What are you doing like this? Oh yes, um, I'm doing this. In fact, I don't know what, why. So this means something is wrong. You are doing something which is which doesn't really make any sense. So you have to have a sense, you know, out of what you are doing. Three times of meal. What are you do? What? Why are you having three times of meal? You you do have a, some sense out of it. If you say I'm not, uh, I'm not going to have lunch, uh, lunch or uh, dinner uh, from now onward. Okay, why? Okay, because I want to, I want to lose weight. So there is a, some sort of, some sort of uh, understanding or some sort of uh, uh, idea, very, no, very nice idea, why you're doing this, why it's sort of planning. So this is a spirituality, actually. To my understanding, that is a spirituality. So you have to have a some kind of a uh, decent way of planning the idea or I ideology. So this is what, what we call spirituality. But what you do superficially, it is a religion. So you know, so religion is not that important compared to the spirituality. In other words, what you what you superficially do is not that important compared to what what you think and what you really what you have a uh, kind of basic idea or the planning in back in your mind these these two are very sort of like uh, important to understand and it works like an interlink interconnected way very much so and so importance let's speak about the importance okay speaking about the importance of these two first always comes the spirituality the planning, the heart, okay? So this is the reason why I always say, I myself, of course, even though it is, we, I, 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 I sort of um, appear as a, I myself appear as a religious man, man, religious teacher or religious practitioner, whatever. But I am not, I don't call myself a religious man. I don't feel that I am a religious man. I don't feel that I am a, Okay, let's put it like that. I don't feel that I'm a that good religious religious man, religious uh, follower. Let's put it like that because superficial things, like a superficial thing, surface thing, I'm not very good at doing uh, following up these surface thing. Okay, but I'm trying my best to be spiritual. Whatever I do, say external things okay i'm not talking about religion okay again but if i if i talk about for example if i do if i walk i have to think usually that is uh, that is very much common and understandable that you have to think where you are walking to what you will be getting you know at least you plan and do uh, <coughs> cautiously you know uh, rather than just uh, just jump just jump without any target or aim, which is not good. You have to go slowly and, you know, with some idea. And talk also nicely with the planning, that sort of thing. So it's a, it's a spirituality that I'm talking about. So if you do have that sort of spirituality, then the life will be more or less organized. 
and then this will eventually lead you to the state of understanding each other compassion if you like if you can you can call it compassion you can call it loving you can call it kindness you can call it even from buddhist point of view you can call it buddhicitta whatever you can call you, you may you may like to call it as uh, with uh, by by different names and terminologies hundreds of terminologies are there you know but actually it is it is just it is just a spirituality it's just a you know all these all these um all these little uh, um things like a bodhicitta compassion love or whatever all these are manifestation of spirituality spirituality when you have some sort of basic sense of planning sense of sense of understanding sense of uh, uh care carefulness and mindfulness when you have these things then you you get you get all these bonus bonus like all all the bonus of compassion love and uh, you know good person and uh, you know care uh, caring person and you know kind person whatever whatever you 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 have to get as a reputation you will get it as a package so this is the thing spirituality in this world like a christ in the like a world of christ when we have a lot of problems like a tragedy everywhere all the tragedies are more or less made by human being that means made by us who are the human being we are the human being we create the mess not anybody else we can't point to anybody else we are the one who created the mess in the world so therefore what we have to do is we have to develop the spirituality that's the thing we have to develop the spirituality that actually means more understanding and more planning more sense you know more sense before involving in the activities that means religion for example before going to going to eat something you just have to think and plan correctly and then eat for example for example if you want to okay that the 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 that the neurotic mind will say i want to eat a you know chunk of uh chunk of meat uh, you know but then you have to you have to tell yourself wait hang on a second should i eat this meat or not for example by eating meat this meat is actually coming from where this chunk of meat very delicious okay that for sure but this is meat actually means what you know it means you kill somebody else that means you tortured somebody else you know you tortured somebody else if you don't torture without torturing somebody else the meat will not come to my plate so you have to think this is spirituality eating is religion thinking is spirituality you know so that's the thing so before religion the spirituality needs to go and then see what i'm eating okay i like to eat yes for sure but is that good reason no you have to have a uh, the the deeper reason why you should eat or why you shouldn't eat so you should think you should give yourself an opportunity to really think deeply and say this chunk of meat is coming from where is of whom and then this is poor animal one poor animal was tortured and then you have been eating you you are eating this